Today's evening devotional. Humility. And I prayed unto the Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to them that keep his commandments, we have sinned, and have committed iniquity, and have done wickedly, and have rebelled, even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Daniel chapter 9 verses 4 and 5. Spurious sanctification carries with it a boastful, self-righteous spirit which is foreign to the religion of the Bible. Meekness and humility are the fruits of the spirit. The prophet Daniel was an example of true sanctification. His long life was filled up with noble service for his master. He was a man, greatly beloved, Daniel chapter 10 verse 11, of heaven, and was granted such honors as have rarely been vouchsafed to mortals. Yet his purity of character and unwavering fidelity were equaled only by his humility and contrition. Instead of claiming to be pure and holy, this honored prophet identified himself with the really sinful of Israel, as he pleaded before God in behalf of his people, We do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. Daniel chapter 9 verse 18. We have sinned, we have done wickedly. Verse 15. And, for our sins, and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem, and thy people are become a reproach. Verse 16. He declares, I was speaking, and praying, and confessing my sin and the sin of my people. Verse 20. And when at a later time the Son of God appeared in answer to his prayers to give him instruction, he declares, My comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Daniel chapter 10 verse 8 Those who are truly seeking to perfect Christian character will never indulge the thought that they are sinless. The more their minds dwell upon the character of Christ, and the nearer they approach to his divine image, the more clearly will they discern its spotless perfection, and the more deeply will they feel their own weakness and defects. Those who claim to be without sin give evidence that they are far from holy. It is because they have no true knowledge of Christ that they can look upon themselves as reflecting his image. The greater the distance between them and their Savior, the more righteous they appear in their own eyes.